Well, I got a new piece of gear for the hammock, a zero degree under quilt from Hammock Gear. Pretty excited about this. So hopefully this will help me sleep warm in the winter. It's supposed to get down to the teens tonight, so this should be a good test. I'm gonna be using my 20 degree Kelty bag and a thermal liner as my top quilt and then I will be using this zero degree under quilt and we'll see how warm it keeps me. I'm not exactly roughing it because uh, the house is uh well it's right there but I figure this way if I get really cold tonight I can always slink down to the basement I'm gonna have a fire going down there and I can always uh crawl down there and shame if need be. Well here's the setup I got my zero degree under quilt I have my 20 degree bag along with a thermal liner inside. The liners are, you know, they don't work great because they tend to squirm around on you at night. I'm gonna give it a shot and see how this setup works. Like I said, it should get down to the teens tonight. And this will be an interesting test. I think I'll uh, be bringing up a hot water bottle. I like to have a water bottle in my bag, so we'll see. But I'm gonna go back down to the house, work for a couple more hours, and then we're gonna get some Chinese food watch The Mandalorian, hang out for a couple hours, and then probably around 9.30 or so, I will come up here in the dark and uh, get comfortable. Well, good morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning. The runner says it's 14 degrees out, so it's pretty cold. And overall, I slept fairly well last night. Woke up a few times, but it was never super cold. So I'm very pleased with how the setup worked. The zero degree under quilt really uh, kept my backside warm. I didn't end up using the liner. I think this is my last time trying to use one of those. It's just, it just doesn't work well. They bunch up. It's tough to like wiggle your way into them. Uh, it's just more of a hassle than it's worth, I think. Well, it's a balmy 15 degrees this morning. So yeah, so much for this liner. No thanks. Last time I tried to use that. But I'm really pleased with my setup. The underquilt did its job. And along with the 20 degree sleeping bag, that was enough to keep me warm. Well, overall, I call that a great success. I was fairly warm last night. No real major cold issues. Uh, I did get a little cooler as the night went on. I woke up intermittently, but overall, yeah, I was very happy with how that went. In terms of what I wore last night in the hammock, these big comfy socks, these pants are called Polar Tech. Um, they're very warm, almost too warm. Sort of a thermal layer, heavy thermal layer, and then this light base layer from RER on top. And that did it, that came in warm. I ended up not having my sleeping bag zipped up all the way, so my upper back was actually right against the uh, hammock. But it was perfectly fine thanks to that uh, down underquilt.